Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on the 24th of March. It seems as if we are all getting used to a new reality. Um, staying home is the thing to do. So here I am in the vicarage, um, lit a candle and I hope you'll join me with evening prayer. In the church calendar today we remember Oscar Romero who was Archbishop of San Salvador in 1980. He died in 19, 1980. He was a martyr and he is one of those people that I've studied uh, while I have been undertaking the Masters in Christian Spirituality. He gave his life for his people and he became a martyr in 1980. And so we remember him, his people under such strain and pressure living in poverty and the way he gave his life to serve them. I think that rings true for us today as we think about the limitations which are being placed on our lives and the way we can serve our neighbours and the way we can stay home yet still pray and still think about other people and still bring comfort to them with our phone calls and our messages. So let us pray. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be glory and praise for ever. In the darkness of our sin you have shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, Blessed be God forever. You might like to pause now and listen to the hymn which I've uploaded. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. The words from Psalm 85 Show us your mercy, O Lord. Lord, you were gracious to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the offence of your people and covered all their sins. You laid aside all your fury and turned from your wrathful indignation. Restore us again, O God our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Will you be displeased for ever? Will you stretch out, stretch out your wrath from one generation to another? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God will say, for he shall speak peace to his people and to the faithful, that they turn not again to folly. Truly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give all that is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and direct his steps in the way. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Most holy God, when we come to you fearing that truth condemns us, Show us that truth is one with love, 
in your word made flesh, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And a canticle. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in turn. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he trusted himself to God who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. This evening's scripture reading is taken from the letter to the Galatians reading chapter 4 verses 1 to 5. My point is this, heirs, as long as they are minors, are no better than slaves. Though they are the owners of all the property, but they remain under guardians and trustees until the date set by the father. So with us. While we were minors, we were enslaved to the elemental spirits of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. Here ends today's reading. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. And this evening we're going to listen to the words of the Magnificat. The Song of Mary Come, let us return to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors. To Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Come, let us return to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon. As we come to our time of prayer, I will leave some spaces of silence for you to add your own prayers, for those you know who are in need, for those who are anxious, and for those who are serving the common good, those working in our hospitals, on our streets, those keeping the supermarkets open. And so in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. 
Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the gift of this day. We thank you for the dappled sunshine which is coming through our windows as the sun sets over this land. We give you thanks for the comfort of our homes, for the warmth of our beds, for the food which we have in our cupboards and the fresh water we have coming from our taps. And we pray for those who are not so blessed. We pray for those areas in the world where there is war or conflict. We pray for those who this night will go to sleep in fear. And we pray for our armed forces. We pray for those we know who are sick at this time, for those who are in pain, for those who are suffering mental health issues, for those of us who are isolated at home. And we pray for our government at this time the decisions which they are having to make. We pray for the World Health Organisation attempting to guide the nations of the world. We pray for all those people who are fighting the COVID-19 virus and caring for the sick. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And the collect for today. We beseech you, you, O Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your Son Jesus Christ by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, now and for ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I wish you all a good night.